well known media personality Kobe Kihara. Mm -hmm. Yes. And she was recently in the States. I believe she even was back because she recently addressed the issues, and that's what I'm going to read to you now. But like many <laughs> other unfortunate Kenyan celebrities, she was caught in the act of faking it. She posted <laughs> photos online that people found were from other social media platforms, other people. And so let me read the receipts for y'all because she actually just recently, I believe today, responded to this. The I have glasses put, I have to put my reading, so dramatic, my reading glasses on here, people. <laughs> So she goes, hey you, listen, my page is curated, I'm a photographer and a creative, so it's easy to pull off, plus most photos are borrowed. I see it as my online gallery, so don't be fooled, my friend. Most of us have been met with an obsession for approval and validation. Well, while lacking transparency and authenticity, we are pressured to work angles, pose perfectly, use filters, crop away our insecurities and edit our flaws to create a reality that ceases to exist. Don't believe the hype, don't get sucked in. Most of my real life doesn't make it onto social media and those who really know me know that. Live on, live on authentic, live an authentic life I'm striving towards that on daily basis I hope, to, I hope I make it. So that is actually a post that she did in 2016, I believe. Yeah, 2017. In 2017. So, this is now her. This is now her. This is our caption, so, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the caption for it because she screenshotted that and reposted mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I posted this in October last year explaining my content. I'm sorry to everyone who I misled. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. I should I should have thought twice perhaps and I guess it got away from me. And to my friends <laughs> in the DM on WhatsApp, thanks for the lovely messages. I'm okay, really, because this you know painful, right? To the trolls and bullies, it's okay. <laughs> I can handle being online. I can handle being an online punching bag for it. Hashtag Kobe Kiara challenge. Hashtag Kobe with an I. I want to say something, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to say something. Yeah. You lied. You got caught. It's all right. Things happen. This is the only, this is the one reason why. What all that English mm -hmm. is using, mm -hmm. all that excess English is using I means nothing English. because of one reason. The post which she put, mm -hmm. she didn't put it and just be like, have a good day, everyone. Mm -hmm. Or, hey, um, life is grand. Mm -hmm. She was so specific about how she contributed to the making of the image which mm -hmm. she put out. You know, the salad, there was the cappuccino. She even put, um, she put her, her location, Sijui, oh, in God. which airport? There, mm -hmm. Yeah, she was in the German airport. There was so much detail in it to convince us that this is something which she has partook in. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. There's another one as well. She took a picture of the shoes. Hey, and she made herself like three Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is something that's going on. And me, mm -hmm. I have no problem. And I've always said this. If you are inspired by my work, if I take a tattoo from you and be like, Dana inspired it. Or I took it from Pinterest. Yeah. Tag the person you've borrowed. Because let me tell you, Honey, I'm so sorry, this is not personal. It's just, I don't know you, but anyway. Um, if you take something from someone and tag them or say that it's them, that's borrowing. Mm -hmm. But if you take someone from something from someone else and make it to seem like it's yours, that's not borrowing, darling. Mm -hmm. Okay, my take on this is who the heck has so much time mm -hmm. on their hands mm -hmm. that they are checking for these details? Mm -hmm. Because I just feel there's a, a group of people who are just ready to come at I you if you do anything. Like, yeah. come on, Trolls get your one. life. Mm -hmm. Like, Kobe is doing her. Let her do her. I don't think there's anything wrong. Exactly Whatever wrong she lying. posts on her social media is hers. Wait. Kobe, I love you. I send prayers Wait, and blessings. even lie about like a baby or something? Like, she took it real hectic, y'all. Yeah. The, even the mother commented, like, yo, that's my kid. Like, yes. nothing, nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I understand. I get where you're coming from, mm -hmm. girl. I like live, you. I live <laughs> your life but, is your point. But come True. on now. True. But come on now. Like, at least, you know, you were taught in uni, don't plagiarize. Don't even do said it. Right <laughs> yesterday. Oh, my goodness. I cannot <laughs> believe it. <laughs> It's true. And um, here's the thing. First of all, those are your real tattoos. Hashtag. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Inked life. Yes. So this, is, this is my serious point about this, yeah? If, um, if people feel the need to be borrowing, and I'm using very intense quotation on um, from other people and posting mm -hmm. them as theirs, we are pushing a culture which means that we are not trying to be ourselves. And no, 
nobody is saying that you should give us all your life. We are just saying that you shouldn't give us somebody else's mm -hmm. pretending to be yours. That's just our point. Mm -hmm. But please talk to us. The hashtag is every let's talk. Let us know how real is your social media? Have you ever posted anything on social media that maybe doesn't belong to you? Mm -hmm. Let us know if this is the norm or we are just freaking out for no reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.